Hey everybody, Christopher Odd here. Welcome back to Siberia 2. Uh, we've climbed this rock face. Uh, there was... Well, we had the two brothers up here, and they were throwing rocks down at us. And then we saw this plane that, um... flew over their heads and crashed. Don't know who the plane is, or... This is the plane I'm talking about right here. Uh, so let's see if there's any survivors first thing. It's not looking good. We've got access to the cockpit, I suppose. Hello. Whoa. Frick, there's so many of these knobs. Oh. That's a good sign. I think. <laughs> There's gotta be like a... Boris Charov. Do we know that name? I'm really just trying to mess with things here, but... I have no clue what I'm doing, so let's come back. Whoa. Oh, jeez. I went way grim there in my thought process. Wake up! Hey! Wake up! Really? <laughs> okay... No way of getting through with those earphones on. He'll never hear me. And is that what we need to use the radio for, maybe? Okay, let's just check out the other area before we come back here. Maybe there's some type of, like, manual or something somewhere that fell out of the plane. Go over here. The train is really too far away. Are you serious? So the only thing we have here is this um, radio. It's got to be the key, but how are we going to get that going? It's obviously still functional. Okay, let's take a look here. Um, this is obviously providing power to the whole unit. Right? We've got A and B switches. Don't appear to do anything. Or do they? I have no idea. Every time we flick one, it seems to reset this thing. This isn't doing anything at all. Um. Hmm. Maybe each of these things run on different categories? This is like an all or nothing right here. Okay, that definitely needs to be on. That definitely needs to be on. Oh, oh, okay, hold on. We've got something here. O3. Like, a lot of these things aren't doing anything, so perhaps that's part of the 
trouble. This gives me something in 03. And if we do... Okay. What the hell? <laughs> Maybe that's... Okay, hold on. Maybe that's for A. Let's try B. Look at some of these switches. That definitely needs to be on. Okay, we've got... Okay, this is good. There's nothing... These things don't do anything. Now, how do we get those to be together? We've got an 03, we've got a 28. Um... Through some combination of these. So we're able to get an 03 on one side. But I can't seem to get them both. Um... There's gotta be something here that we're missing. Because when they're both on, I can't seem to figure it out. What is happening? Huh. Okay, let's retrace our steps here. Oh, we didn't come down this way. Hold on. was on the back of that sled. I've got to find oh, a way of getting back that. to the train quickly if I'm going to catch them. Okay, so I wish we would have saw this earlier because now we've got a whole other situation here. Got more radio equipment. What? Three C B ten. That's really helpful. Okay. What about this stuff? Okay. Oh, look at this. Oh, hold on. Okay. What if we did the, um, was it 03? Damn it. O three, O three, two, eight, was it? Can we like? Is this working? Boris. Yes. Boris, can you okay, receive now me? Now that makes sense. Kate Walker here. Wake up, Boris. Wake up. Hey, stop looking my. <laughs> Undo your straps. My straps? Oh, yeah, of course. I'll just tuck this thong and... Ugh! I hope you haven't hurt yourself. Okay, cool. Let's go see him. We still have this, like, radar dish up top here that, uh... I presume does something. What that is exactly, I couldn't tell you. Oh, here he is. 
Boris. Boris! Ah, Kate Walker. My flying wing is kaput. Totally dinged. Poor Boris. Your flying wing's in a sorry state. But I've flown among the stars, Kate Walker. Not many men can say so much. I feel like we know this guy. Hans Varlberg has been kidnapped. Why did you say? Two hoodlums have kidnapped Hans Varlberg. I think he was in the first I'm chasing one. after them. Poor Mr. Varlberg. I'm sorry to say I don't think I can be of much use. I understand. I've got to catch those felons, come what may. Hans's health is no great shakes, you understand? It would be a pleasure to help you, Kate Walker, but I'm not too sure how. My train is at the bottom of the mountain. I've got no other way of getting down there. And my flying wings at the Menders. Kind of... <laughs> landing's always been my weak point. Yeah, we've noticed. You're sure that I really can't use your flying wing? Too damn sure. I knew flying would be irksome, so I flicked the switch and ping! Ejection! Maybe there's a way of using the co-pilot ejector seat. But you're going to have to slip her into manual control mode. We're going to find a way to activate the ejector seat. Okay. I'll stay here, just in case. Well, this is kind of whimsical. How are we gonna, like... Oh, what do we have here now? Was this here before? Nyet, nyet, comrade. Those coordinates will send you straight into the cliff. So how do we know... Hmm. I mean, we're just gonna be, like, randomly trying stuff? That can't be right. Nyet, nyet, comrade. Those coordinates will send you straight into the cliff. Um... Wow, this is tough. Okay, let's go back to the other... radio area. There's the only two points of interest here, as far as I can tell, unless we've missed another area. Okay. No point doing that. No point in doing that. Oh, we've got this thing. Got like a radar split into four sections, it looks like. Oh, hold on. Okay, maybe um, this radar dish points in four different directions, right? So if we were to switch it, I'm assuming that it's reading from here. Yeah, see, now it changed over to that location. got some type of noise. There is something there, isn't it? There's like a blip right there. Uh... Okay. Let's keep trying this. Maybe this is trying to locate the train? I imagine, and then we could put those... Wherever this blip ends up, maybe we could put that... Oh, it didn't change this time. Or maybe it changes only when we're looking at it. Yeah. Okay, so now we have something here. That's a pretty significant blip. But 
I don't know how to read this thing. It's on a scale of 100. 50, so this would be 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, yeah. And then 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So what would this be on? 10, 20? 20 up and then 80? I don't know, hold on. <laughs> I could be grasping at big time straws here. Now we can't switch it. Okay. So this must be what we want then. We gotta be on the right track. It's just figuring out how to read this thing. Usually with... Well, I don't know. This blip right here, that would be... If we're looking at 60, 70, 80. And then we got... 10, is that 10 or 20? I think it's 20. So 20 up, 80 across. Maybe those are the coordinates that we could use. Maybe we flip them, depending on how you read those things. I remember from school, like in math, don't we typically read them? I can't remember if it's vertical and then horizontal or the other way around. Maybe I won't even have to put them in, and it'll just work. I didn't think I'd see you again, Boris, I must yeah, say. Yeah, so he he is from the first Lady one. Fortune I just don't remember one, exactly name, Kate Walker. who he was, but the name Boris, Boris stood out. Boris, could you help me to use the manual control system for the ejector seat in your flying wing? You find the direction on your target and enter the coordinates. I'm sorry to say the radar is on the whack. See you again, Boris. Yeah, okay, Good so luck, we did that already. Guy. Thanks for the help earlier, Boris. Okay, so... Oh! Nyet, nyet, comrade. Those nope. coordinates will send you straight into the cliff. What if we reverse them? Bang on target, Boom. Kate Walker. You'll land right in the dining car. Well, this is going to be intense. Let me help you with those straps. There we go. Okay, so we've got a couple ways to enter the train. Hello. Miss Walker, this is Colonel Emelioff. Yeah, he's Do the story guy. From Romansburg. Colonel Emelioff. Uh, why, sure. Uh, how did you get my number? No matter. Miss Walker, I'm calling you because a gentleman came to see me. An American detective. He asked me a lot of questions about you, about the train, and your friend, Mr. Borrelberg. Naturally, I told him nothing, but... Colonel, you have to slow this man down any way you can. We are in Russia. It is winter, and when snow sets in, time starts moving very slowly. <laughs> It'll be a miracle if this man ever finds you, Miss Walker. <laughs> Thank you, Colonel. Hey, we've got friends. What is this? Is this an arm? Hold on. Yuki. What is this? <gasps> is this Oscar? Ah. It's totally Oscar. Yeah, I thought it might have been a dead person at first. Oh. 
Oscar, are you all right? <laughs> it's me, Kate. Kate Walker. G Greetings, ma'am. Pull yourself together. We've got to find Hans on the du- Hans? Hans Vorlberg? Yes, Oscar. Hans. Okay. Let's make tracks. We've got maybe one chance left to catch those bandits. I don't think my utility levels are very high right now, Kate Walker. But there must be some way of making you right. I don't know. I really don't know. You need oil and heat. I saw Hans stretched out on a sled being pulled by a snowbike. Ivan and Igor kidnapped him. I am sorry I was unable to assist, Kate Walker. I attempted to interject, but the fat brute applied a punch to me, and I found myself in the snow. You did all you could. Now we've got to do what we can to catch them. We absolutely must catch those two creeps. I would gladly help you, Kate Walker, but I fear I am less than functioning. You feeling a little better, Oscar? Not really. I'm frozen, Kate Walker. Yeah, I bet. But you'll warm up. Don't you worry. The cold has paralyzed my wheel work, Kate Walker. I hope that the collapse of the bridge hasn't damaged the locomotive too badly. I fear the worst, Kate Walker. I'll be back here right away. I I I'll be waiting for you, Kate Walker. Okay. Oscar, are you all right? I, I feel... Oscar, try a little bit. We're not going to get out of this mess just by hanging around. Kate Walker, my mechanical system has not been designed for long periods in the That's snow. What I'm saying, oil and fire. I fear <laughs> I will not be able to drive my locomotive. I'm going to try to find something to help you. Okay, let's... Try and warm yourself up. I'll be right back. Let's get onto this train I and investigate. I hope so, Kate Walker. I suppose we're gonna get this going again. All these controls, nothing works without the key. This train's useless without its driver. Okay, All these so Oscar, pretty much. All these. So we got to get him going before anything else happens. Are the brothers on this thing? Like, we saw them... They took off on the snowmobile, right? So this should be empty. But we're gonna have to get this going and catch up to them. Well, this is all broken. Perhaps something in his workshop that we could use, or whatever this is. Plan of the train. Okay, what do we got highlighted here? A couple of things. Um, this is the front where we were. We're about here. It looks like there's like, it's highlighting the mechanism between the two, and then I don't know what this is. This looks like kind of where the, um, his little stand was with the two little figurines on top. Jeez. This is an oil can, I think. Yep, definitely oil. That's good. <laughs> what about my idea of fire? I doubt it. Okay. Well, we can certainly check those points. This is kind of, yeah, right odd. here. Looks like some sort of panel. Exactly. Now, how would I... 
That's odd. That's odd. Looks like... Nothing I can do with it just yet. There's certainly something to it. So let's look at the connection between these two cars. Maybe. Let's just double check here. Yeah, so it would be in here. Oh, Yuki? <laughs> Are you hungry? He's probably trying to tell me something. I'm going to take the oil dispenser over here first. This should help. There you go. Tweaking into those joints, buddy. Mm. Now that is a relief. Thank you, Kate Walker. Now, if you will kindly take your place in the passenger car, I can carry on. Okay. It was that simple. But what's that panel underneath his little, um... The stand that he had? That's what I'm curious about. Huh. Okay, so the train's not moving. Let's go talk to Oscar. gonna tell me Oscar what's going on we cannot continue our journey Kate Walker the passenger car is stuck that's what happens when amateurs manhandle my engine what are we going to do there's an uncoupling system on the car yeah I'm there we go to open the okay. access panel on the locomotive call me when you find it once the panel is open you will just have to activate the mechanism to unhitch the car so we're going to leave this car and everything in it behind us this is a sacrifice we must make, Kate Walker. Regrettable, I know. Okay, I'm off then. Wait for me before <laughs> you set off again, okay? I will never leave without you, Kate Walker. Yeah. I've heard that before. Okay, but that does mean that we want to unhitch these cars. Actually, we could run up there, too, because we haven't done that. Um, unless now is the point where we could access this panel. There's no way I can get to the mechanism without somehow keeping this panel open. Right, okay, so this is involved, but there's got to be something in here that we've missed. Maybe some type of tool, or like a wedge of some kind. A 
Let's be very careful here. Bless you. Now I'm not seeing anything. Maybe there is something off to the front of the train. Like, maybe there's a... Uh, I don't even know how we can open that, let alone prop it open. Let's check the bathroom again, because there's a bunch of broken stuff. Go up front. Oh, I see. No, this is where we came from. Hold on. And I don't think. Yeah, we can't even go back. So it's for sure in the area. But he... Oscar? Why are you dawdling, Kate Walker? Go and attend to the train uncoupling system. Okay, okay, I'm on the job. Oh, wait, okay, hold on. He told us to go and then call him, right? So, if it's that panel... Yeah, okay. I'll try to call him from here. If that doesn't work, then we'll go inside. There we go. Or not. Oscar. Hi. Oscar? Yes, Kate Walker? No change, Oscar? My gear systems and articulations are functioning like a dream, thank you. And you, Kate Walker, how are your functions? Nothing too complicated, Oscar. I'll manage. <laughs> you sound so far away. Come back soon, Kate Walker. Okay, so I'm obviously I'm in the wrong spot. I'm not very far away, Oscar. I'll come and talk to you face to face. Unless I don't think we can go off this side. Okay, now let's try it again. There we Oscar, go. I'm yes, in position. Yes, go. Very well, Kate Walker. I will trigger the mechanism to open the panel. And you must activate the mechanism to unhitch the car. Agreed? Roger that, Oscar. Okay, so that's why we couldn't control it. He needs to undo it. Uh... Oh, okay, we've got one of these things going on. Let's start here. That does those two. I don't know if this is just trial and error. Yep. Okay.
Is it really Kate Walker we're chasing here, sir? Seriously? Pissing me <laughs> off, John. What are you trying to say? Kate Walker, the lawyer. The one with the brilliant career prospect. That Kate Walker's dead. What? We're chasing some other kid. Someone we don't know anymore. I've got the family on my back every day, John. Kate Walker's gotta come home. Kate Walker's dead. What? Oh. The tusk. We're getting dangerously close to... <gasps> Where did that Yuki get to? Probably where we want to be. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that was kind of cool. So we'll take a little break. When we come back, we'll continue up to uh, this area. Which looks a little bit imposing, but should be fine. And uh, hopefully we can find Hans, and we'll go from there. Thanks, guys, again. Take care. Bye.